So let's go to 1995, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation. A group of teenagers get into a car crash in the Texas woods on prom night and then wander into an old farmhouse that is home to Leatherface and his insane family of cannibalistic psychopaths, um, which I'll contest that they were cannibals in this. So, but, uh, directed by Kim Hankel, directed by Kim Hankel and Tobe. Toby Hooper. So this is the original team that made the first film, right? No. So. What? No. Yes. Toby Hooper didn't direct this. I don't think he did, guys. Yeah. Kim Hinkle directed this. Oh. Yeah. It's the but, he, but Kim Hinkle wrote the first movie with Toby Hooper. Right, but Toby Hooper didn't have anything to do with this movie. Oh, he has a writing credit, so I guess well, maybe it's... Just, it's hearing, right. Yeah. Um, what do you have? What info do you have, Jason? Uh, tagline: The American Legend returns to bring you to the cutting edge of terror. Distributed by Sony Pictures and on Blu-ray through Scream Factory in 2018. Okay. Um, there's a lot of questions I have about this movie. Uh, who the fuck are the 30-year-old guys that are like hanging outside of the high school during prom night? I don't understand. They're like, <laughs> they're like bitching about teenagers and they're drinking in the parking lot at pr at during prom. It doesn't make sense. It's like if you... Clearly uh, you never what? went to the upper side of Valley High School. <laughs> <laughs> so that was every prom for us. Was the the guy, the guy out, outside the school, he, he makes the comment that he hates teens or hates kids yeah. or something like that. But he don't want to And then they, they show another another clip of them later and he's talking to him about like he's telling a story and cussing like he wasn't a teacher and he's not a student so <laughs> yeah. yeah he's a graduated classroom that's come back for the party man <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous <laughs> um i never noticed it before but vilmer's truck says illuminati wrecking so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is, I, there's a lot of cool uh, scenes I like in this movie where the one where Re Renee Zellweger's in the trunk at the pizza place um, or whenever that um, that, that the, the, the woman, I, whatever her name is she uh, finds that one teen girl in the street or in the road <laughs> and she like has it, goes and finds a little stick and like just yeah. hitting her just lightly <laughs> and just, uh, uh, please don't hit me. <laughs> it was just, it's, there's still humor in this. And this is McConaughey at his best. I think, um, the filmer is amazing. Um, he kind of carries the movie for me a little bit. Uh, I don't, I don't like, uh, the, they're not cannibals though. They don't reference at all. They eat pizza in this. They don't eat anybody. They're just, I guess their goal was to give Leatherface a new face at the end of the day or horrify them before some Illuminati reason because there's that weird... You gotta keep the town scared, right? That was their whole goal, right? There's that weird guy that comes in at the end and he I don't know what he has going on on his stomach. It's like carved art or something on carved skin on, and he's got piercings. Yeah, what's gold that? rings. What's the... What <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i think but i think that you know overall vilmer carries this movie there's a lot of things i don't enjoy about this uh especially how much leatherface shrieks he doesn't do that in any of the other movies i don't believe it's a little much there you go again, there you go again. don't don't compare this i'm not comparing it i like i like how leatherface <laughs> looks not too much Go ahead. I like how Leatherface looks a lot in this. Uh, there's different. <laughs> oh my god! Um, but you know, I don't like the weird dude at the end coming in. I don't need that shit. I do like uh, the We character with his constant quoting and stuff. I like that a lot. Um, yeah. And the inclusion of a, a female insane person, I really liked a lot too. Um, uh, but yeah, Vilmer's the reason this movie's good. I gave it a seven out of ten. What do you say, Jason? Uh, again, '90s slasher. Um, and this is ignoring two and three, so it's kind of a kind of a sequel to to the first because it tells the story in the beginning and kind of acknowledges two and three. But 
Uh, yeah, Matthew McConaughey steals the show for sure. Um, that that may get, it could be a negative, I guess, to a Texas movie, but in my opinion, Chop Top stole the show in part two, so I, I'm okay with it. Whatever. Uh, Leatherface takes a step back, um, but I still enjoy this character. But yeah, he's a, he's a bitch, but. Uh, mm. I, I, I still like it. And it's, it's funny the the guy uh, Robert Jacks. So he was actually gay and pretty flamboyant, like oh, yeah. you know, in his own life. He passed uh, away. Like, I saw. Um, he passed yeah. away not not too long after the movie. I um, think. Like one of I forget who said it. One of the actors said like the first time they seen him, he came out of a trailer or whatever, dressed up in leather as Leatherface. And it was like, <laughs> he said, like, I'm going to scare some bitches or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I guess he was, he was hitting on some of the younger actors and, and stuff. I don't know. It's a little, little backstage info. Uh, overall, uh, I, I think it's good. I mean, um, and I'm not sure why, why McConaughey has such a big problem with this. Like I, I heard either he either did sue or threatened to sue over the movie. Like you know, using him to to get the movie out there. You know what I mean? To, to cash in on his his name. Same way with. Uh, it's one of the only fucking it. things you know that I mean? it's, it's, he's in it. It's, it's one stuff. of the only things he li- he has done that I like. Yeah, it, like, I can understand if he didn't like the movie, but he's great in this. Like, yeah. use this as a uh, uh, look what I can do. Like, brag it up, I think. Um, I'm fine with everything. Uh, it's funny, it's crazy, it's insane, it's horrifying at, at points. And I love how uh, Bill Murr just, like, at random times, just beats up on his girlfriend or whatever <laughs> she does. Like, grab her by head. <laughs> like, she's not even. Talking or in on the sea, he just <laughs> grabs her. <laughs> and rips her. Yeah. Um, the director's cut of this is pointless. As far as I know, it's pointless. I watched the director's cut, and it's just all extra footage of them like walking down a road or running yeah. through the. It's like it was completely pointless. It was all in standard definition too. Like <laughs> they couldn't restore it. So I, I just want to say I recommend the theatrical cut. Um, I, I like it all up until the Illuminati people or whatever. That just it seems like they came in out of nowhere, and it didn't help the movie whatsoever. Like it's just it, that was a dumb move, I think. But there's enough good in the rest of the movie. I gave it a seven. Ray, what you say? Well, yeah, I agree with you. I, the, uh, the these guys don't need an outside force directing no. them into what to do. You know what I mean? So, like, some guy shows up and he's like, "I've been controlling them." I'm like, first off, they're insane people. You're not fucking controlling anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need this rando guy. That's and I don't believe for a second that Matthew McConaughey's character would give a shit what that guy thought. You know what I mean? Right. Not for a right. second. So, yeah, so th- that being said, and I watched the director's cut, too. Pointless as fuck. Just yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, no, no rhyme or reason, just longer walks. Took forever yeah. for it to get to the back to the action. Like, everything that was cut, I thought, should have been cut. Exactly. Unless I'm doing something. But I, I really liked, I'm with Frank, I liked the, that they threw a woman that was as crazy as everybody else in this, too, like, a, like a, their age, you know? Um, she was pretty terrifying in some parts how she could turn real quick. Um, and then overall, man, like I know that Frank and I talked about this the other day. I know that people have a problem with this version of Leatherface, but I thought he was great. I laughed through the whole, I hadn't seen it in a long I time. Think too. And, and I laughed. Yeah. Every time he would cue, cause you'd go, you know, like, at, at the, uh, at the yeah. dinner scene when, when he, when someone would start screaming and then he joined in, oh, but uh you know there was some stuff in this too that i thought was really cool the the leg prop you know with the the mechanical leg you know that was a neat ad i thought it was pointless as hell but really cool 
like a, a like focal point, you know. Well, I, yeah, when whenever he uses it to crush that one girl's head, right? Fucking crazy, and yeah. that's that's one of the scenes that Matthew McConaughey could put on like a clip reel and be like, "Look, I can do this in scene." Right? Like, Watch this level. Because- my own my one of my big problems with this though, guys, was the chasing her out the window, a la the first movie scene, yeah. right? And it went on for fucking ever, and especially this director's cut. I don't know, maybe it was quicker for you guys, but it was like a ten minute scene, and I'm like. How long can you climb on this roof? You know, like <laughs> why does she go up? Roof? Why would you ever go up on an, on a fucking antenna? Ever? Right. It yeah. Doesn't make sense. But but overall, man, I enjoyed the hell out of it. I liked uh, what was his W E yeah. the guy quoting uh, little rhymes yeah, of he, he, poetry he, and stuff. You know, it was pretty cool. Um, Renell Zellweger, Zellweger did a great job as the, the screamer. She screamed through the whole thing, and Matthew McConaughey is the showcase of this thing. I give it a seven as well. It's a. It is not. It's. It is not as good as it could have been, but it is way better than it has any right to be. So. And, and something else. Uh, uh, part three and next gen. We, we got these both in the nineties. Right. And people want to uh, people want to rip on the nineties that there's no good movies that came out. Like there's, here's two of them right here. I think. Yeah, that's true. Um, Scott, what do you say? What do you give this? Uh, I think they did the most with the least in this movie. Uh, they had the least amount to work with, and I, I'm with you. I think it's Matthew McConaughey's best best work. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm pretty sure he says all right that. in that movie at some yes. point. He does. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, I think I think that they out of the uh, between two, three, and four, I think I think that's probably my favorite. So I'd have to be more of an eight, eight out of ten. Yeah. Oh, you like you like this one better than two? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I, it's just taste. I watched them all as an adult, so I don't have any nostalgia connected to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I may, I can see that though. I I can respect that. Um, 